Welcome back to Cocktails and Cuisines. I'm your host, Chef James Jens. And today we're going to do a fun little breakfast item. We're gonna start off by making a version of Sex on the Beach. So we have um, a mixture of peach and peach schnapps and vodka. Oops. Some orange juice. Some peach and mango juice. Some cranberry juice. and some cherry juice. And we're going to garnish with a little bit of fresh mint, smack it to release the herbs, and float it on top. There's your sex on the beach. And when we come back, we're going to be on the saute, caramelizing some delicato squash, some mushrooms, some black beans, some day old rice, with um, some tomatoes and putting some couple of fried eggs on top. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is a very simple, um, I, my wife and I travel to Mexico quite a bit, and this is a version of one of the classic breakfasts they can find there. And they love to reuse their day old rice from, uh, maybe it's a rice for a day or a black bean rice or something. Um, and really they found also scientifically that it actually helps you, you get a better ingredient nutritional value out of day old rice when you refry it with proteins like legumes, beans, and squashes, it actually gets a more um, nutritional benefit to you. So we're gonna start by having a medium high saute pan, a little bit of butter, Roll around so it melts. And then we're going to start with delicato squash. And if you've never worked with delicato squash, the it's a hard winter squash, but you can eat the rind, the, the skin on it. It cooks down and it gives a nice texture instead of just being a bunch of mush, kind of like baby food. It actually has some texture to the squash. We'll let this cook for a few minutes. Um, we'll also add the sweet potatoes. We'll let these two cook for a few minutes because these will take a little bit longer to cook than the mushrooms and the black beans are already cooked. And we just got to add the rice. So when we come back, we'll be ready to add the mushrooms and tomatoes. So we're about ready to add the mushrooms and tomatoes. And we're going to add a little bit more butter um, just to keep some fat and moisture in the pan. You don't want to burn anything. So we'll give this a few seconds to just uh, melt. And we can go ahead and add the mushrooms and the tomatoes. Toss it around. Add a little bit more salt and pepper. And we can go ahead and add, I got the rough chopped garlic and the black beans. We'll just let this cook and at the end we'll put the rice in and finish with some fresh cilantro. Meanwhile, we will start to do some 
over easy or fried or however you like your eggs. Um, you can do scrambled, you can do poached. And I always like to season the top of my fried eggs. Some salt and pepper. All right, everybody's, everything's kind of got a nice commingled flavor. We're gonna add yesterday's rice. these fresh cilantro and you don't want to cook cilantro a lot um, it is very delicate herb so um, it will wilt quickly on you but getting it with a little bit of heat is always nice it just helps release the essential oils and the aromatics that are innately in the herb and that looks great when we come back, we'll be back on the board and plating and we'll put a bow to this breakfast entree. So we're just gonna plate, and this is <clears throat> real simple. Think of this kind of like plating corned beef hash and fried eggs or something like that. This is just a vegetarian version. Well seasoned. And two really nice fried eggs. Layer them on. And you know what? I'm gonna put a couple of slices of fresh tomato on the side. Clean needs a little bit of color. And it's also gonna add a little bit more pop. And I always like to put a little bit of salt on the tomatoes. So here we go. Here's our fun little vegetarian breakfast. Got black beans and delicato squash, some mushrooms, onions, garlic, everything you want in a breakfast with some fried eggs and a sex on the beach cocktail. Thanks for joining me. It's been fun cooking. I'm Chef James Jens, and you've been watching Cocktails and Cuisines. Join me next time for some more fun with food.